deep below the surface of the Earth, men mine lead in an environment most would consider risky. Of all the places on Earth, you might be surprised to learn where lead is being mined on the grandest of scales. Here, under the forested hills of the Ozarks in southeastern Missouri, are some of the highest concentrations of lead metal on the planet. The Doe Run Company operates six mines and four mills, making it the largest integrated lead producer in the Western Hemisphere. More than 210,000 metric tons of primary lead metal is extracted from these hills each year. The ore runs along an underground strip about 40 miles long called the Viburnum Trend. The ore zone varies in width from, oh gosh, maybe only this wide in some cases, in other cases it can be a quarter of a mile wide. This is a core from a hole in this particular environment. It may only be that thick. However, there are places in the mines here where we have 150 feet of mineralization of a similar nature. So how far down do you have to go to get to where the lead is? You have to travel as deep into the ground as the Empire State Building is tall. Right now we're being lowered about 1,000 feet underground. The man hoist, as miners call the 18 by 14 foot caged elevator, is the primary way in or out of the mine. All of the mining equipment and vehicles must be brought down the shaft in pieces and reassembled underground. This is the Brushy Creek Mine, located roughly in the middle of the Viburnum Trend. A large work area fills a cavernous section that has been depleted of lead ore. Approximately two and a half dozen miners are underground at any one time, seven days a week. <laughs> the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, has developed rules for monitoring for lead in the workplace. All miners are routinely screened to protect them from lead poisoning, even though lead ore is relatively inert and not easily absorbed into the body.